Come in. Mr. Nick, how you doing? Hey, Guillermo, how you doing, man? Good, good. I'm very excited you guest hosting the show. Yeah, me too. I, I want to ask you for a favor. Oh, uh, sure, anything. Uh, can you put me in the show? Oh, well, I, I mean, I, I think you're, you're, you're on the show. You're, you're on the show like every night. Yeah, but, but I want to do like a stand, stand up comedy like you. Oh. Yeah, I you, want you to teach me. You like, uh, do, you, do you like my stand up? Yeah. What's your favorite uh, bit of mine? Oh, oh, everything. Yeah, you haven't actually ever seen my stand up, have you? No, to be honest, no. <laughs> no, no. But they told me you're very funny. Ah, oh, that's so nice yeah. of them. Come on over, so let's, sit, let's sit down and we'll talk. What, what kind of comic do you see yourself as? Uh, I want to like talk about my mother in law. Do you like your mother in law? No, I don't like my mother in law. <laughs> <laughs> no, she, she's terrible. Okay, um, let me give you a mic. We use my brush if that's okay. Yeah, you want right. to Yeah, so then. All right, so I'll. Okay. So I say, hi, everybody. How you guys doing? Yeah, woo! Good. Listen, I, I, I don't know if you guys have a mother-in-law. Woo, boo! But I do. Tell us about her. Oh, my mother-in-law is a pain in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, great. And then I keep going. And right, you, you, you talk about um, some examples of uh, what, was, what, what happened. Do you remember the first time you met your mother-in-law? Oh, my God. I was so nervous, you know? So I think I, I had two shots of tequila, uh -huh. but I think I over, over drink. It yeah. was not two, it was like maybe three or yeah. four. Yeah. And I, 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 I peed her shoes. <laughs> you peed on her shoes? But not, but, but on her closet. Okay. So I was, she, I asked her, where's the rest? She goes, oh, it's over there. Uh -huh. But I, I couldn't make it over there. So I just said, oh, I'm just gonna pee over here and I close the door. <laughs> And since that time, me and her, she's like... Wow, she sounds like a real difficult woman that you peed on her shoes and she was angry at you for it. And since that time, she, she's been mad at me. Yeah, can I ask a follow-up question? Is that the first time or the only time that you've peed not, you haven't made it to the bathroom to pee? Oh, and my bed, listen, one time, I was so drunk. Mm -hmm. and, and, and How drunk were you? I was so drunk mm -hmm. and I thought I was dreaming that I was pee in the restroom, but I was peeing my pants. Yeah, I think, um, I mean, I think it's great that you're talking to me about Santa, but I think you should maybe be talking to, to a urologist. Okay. Um, so that's a good start. I mean, that's some stuff. What, do you have any jokes prepared and did you write ahead of time? I wrote one joke, okay. Okay, so I, I don't know, but I don't have the punch line, you know? Okay, that's what, I, that's what comedians do for each other is we help each other come up with punch lines. Oh, okay. Hi, everybody, how you guys doing? Great, and by the way, I would suggest every joke start with, hi, everybody, how you guys doing? Oh, yeah? Even if you're in the middle of the set. It could be your thing that after every joke, you then reset and go, hi, everybody, how you guys doing? Oh, okay. So, so go to doing what you're doing, it's great. All right. Hi, everybody, how you guys doing? Good. I don't understand why you guys won't get the vaccine, mm -hmm. you know? But if I tell you guys, okay, listen, if you get the vaccine, we will give you a green juice. A green juice? Yeah. Okay. And now you know they have vaccines for everything. Mm -hmm. They have for... Uh... Maybe the punchline, this would be a, what, what they would call a callback. Uh -huh. They make vaccines for everything. I wish they made a vaccine for peeing on my mother-in-law's shoes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're very funny. <laughs> Thanks, I'm a, I'm a stand-up comedian. So I think this has gone pretty well. I feel like you've gone through a couple jokes. Yeah. Um, look, Guillermo, I don't know if you're ready to open up for me on my tour this fall, but I do believe you are ready to do stand-up on Kimmel, because I'm only hosting for one night, so I don't really give a shit. Okay. You know our next comic from his work on Jimmy Kimmel Live, making his stand-up comedy debut. Please welcome Guillermo Hot Rod Rodriguez. How you guys doing? Listen, I want to tell you something about my mother-in-law. My mother-in-law is like diarrhea, okay? It's a, she's a pain in the ass. She keeps coming and coming, and you don't know when it's going to come back. It's terrible. It's miserable, okay? Hi, everybody. How you guys doing? Good. 
Listen, summer is here. And most of the ladies, they want to get a, a, a ready, like a bikini ready, you know? And the guys, they want to hire a trainer, you know, to be like all buff and everything. But I think that's the dumbest idea, you know? Hire a trainer, hire somebody so you can, they can make you tired. You know, that's brutal. That's terrible, you know? In my case, I will spend the money on beers, on a hot Cheetos. Who doesn't love hot Cheetos? Yeah. Yeah. And if I have some money left, I will buy some weed, you know? Right? I'll still be tired, I'm comfortable, but I will be happy. <laughs> and... Hi, everybody. How you guys doing? Good. Listen, this happened to me all the time, okay? I don't understand why people. When they go to Starbucks, and I tell my name, they always misspell it or they cannot pronounce my name. You know, my name is Guillermo and they call me Guillermo, okay? <laughs> so I had it with that, you know? So I decided to give them a white people's name, you know? So now I'm Prince Charles from now on. Thank you very much. That's all the time I have. I'll see you at Starbucks.